Monster of the Sky, the untold story of the Antonov AN-225. In the history of aviation, only one aircraft has ever made the world stop and stare. Not because it was beautiful, not because it was fast, but because it was impossible. A machine so large, so heavy, so powerful, that engineers believed it could never leave the ground. A wingspan longer than a football field, a takeoff weight greater than a fully loaded warship, engines strong enough to lift a small town. This was not just an aircraft, it was a statement, a declaration that engineering had no limits. This is the untold story of the Antonov AN-225, the biggest, strongest, and most awe-inspiring airplane humans have ever built. But its journey took it from Soviet dream, to global icon, to tragic destruction, and the legacy it left behind remains unmatched. Today, we dive into the giant that ruled the skies, and the truth behind the monster the world may never see again. Born from a race to space. To understand the AN-225, you must go back to the final years of the Cold War. The Soviet Union was locked in a technological duel with the United States. America had NASA. The Soviets had Energia and Buran, a massive reusable spacecraft created to rival the space shuttle. But there was a problem. The Buran was enormous. Too wide for trains, too fragile for roads, too heavy for helicopters. They needed something bigger. Something unprecedented. Something capable of carrying a spacecraft on its back across thousands of kilometers. The Antonov Design Bureau, based in Kiev, was given a nearly impossible order. Build an airplane large enough to carry another spacecraft. Build something the world has never seen. Build it fast. Engineers began sketching something that at first seemed ridiculous. A six-engine colossus with twin tails, oversized landing gear, and a wingspan stretching far beyond anything flying at the time. The plan was simple. Use the mighty AN-124 Ruslan as a starting point, then make it bigger. The result was an aircraft that dwarfed every blueprint before it. The AN-225 wasn't designed to be impressive. It was designed to be unstoppable. Building the impossible. Constructing the world's biggest aircraft required technology the Soviets had never attempted before. Wings longer than any commercial jet. Landing gear with 32 wheels to distribute weight. A fuselage stretched like a cargo ship. An engine configuration so powerful that even at idle, it could knock a grown man off his feet. The AN-225 would eventually weigh up to 640,000 kilograms, the heaviest aircraft ever built. Engineers reinforced the structure using high-strength alloys. They redesigned the root of the wings to support enormous bending forces. They added dual vertical stabilizers to prevent airflow disruption from the spacecraft that would sit on its back. Every component was overbuilt, every system oversized, every part designed to operate under loads no previous aircraft had ever experienced. But despite its size, the AN-225 was elegant. It could climb, it could bank, it could perform maneuvers no one expected an aircraft of its mass to execute. In December 1988, after years of intense engineering, the monster rolled out of its hangar. It didn't look like a plane. It looked like a skyborne continent. When pilots climbed into the cockpit for its first flight, the world held its breath. The first flight of a Titan. December 21st, 1988. The moment the aviation world would never forget. The Antonov AN-225 lined up on the runway at Hostomol Airport. Snow fell lightly. Temperatures dropped. The six engines roared to life in a thunderous wave of sound. Pilots pushed the throttles forward. The engines screamed. The ground trembled. Despite its weight, the giant accelerated faster than anyone expected. At 290 km per hour, the pilot eased back on the control column, the nose lifted, the wings flexed, and then, impossibly, the biggest airplane ever built left the earth. People watching burst into cheers. Engineers cried. The impossible had become real. The monster was airborne. Once stabilized, pilots tested responsiveness. The AN-225 handled astonishingly well. As it flew overhead, witnesses described the sight as surreal. A flying mountain that moved with the grace of a much smaller aircraft. The world's largest airplane was not only flying, it was performing flawlessly. The spacecraft carrier. Soon after its first flight, the AN-225 completed the task it was built for. The Buran Orbiter, the pride of the Soviet space program, was loaded onto its back. Crowds gathered to witness the spectacle. When the AN-225 took off carrying a full spacecraft, aviation history was rewritten. No other aircraft could do this. None came close. The twin-tail configuration ensured stability. The reinforced spine carried enormous loads. The six engines produced unprecedented thrust. The giant flew Buran across the Soviet Union from Baikonur Cosmodrome to testing facilities thousands of kilometers away. For a brief period, the AN-225 became the center of Soviet aerospace logistics. But then, 
the Soviet Union collapsed and everything changed. Abandonment of a Titan. In 1991, the Soviet Union dissolved. Space funding evaporated. Massive engineering projects were scrapped. And the AN-225, the most advanced transport aircraft ever built, suddenly had no mission. It was rolled into a hangar. Its engines removed. Its systems shut down. The second partially built AN-225, which was supposed to complete the fleet, was abandoned mid-construction. For years, the world's biggest airplane sat in silence. Dust gathered on its wings, birds nested in its landing gear, it became a sleeping giant, waiting for the world to need it again. And eventually, the world did. Revival of a legend. As global logistics changed in the early 2000s, a new demand emerged for ultra-heavy cargo transport. Generators, industrial turbines, disassembled trains, humanitarian aid, massive emergency deliveries. No existing aircraft could carry these loads. Only one machine on Earth could do what needed to be done, the AN-225. In 2001, after nearly a decade of silence, the giant roared back to life. Repairs were completed, upgrades installed, engines replaced, the resurrection was complete. Once again, the world's largest aircraft took to the skies. The global workhorse. The AN-225's second life was very different from its first. Instead of carrying spacecraft, it carried the weight of nations. It transported 150-ton generators that no ship could deliver in time. It carried emergency supplies after earthquakes. It delivered COVID-19 medical equipment in record quantities. Everywhere it went, crowds gathered just to see it. Airports shook when it landed. Runways needed reinforcement to handle its mass. Ground crews described the experience as watching a skyscraper move. In commercial service, it broke more than 240 world records, including heaviest cargo ever transported, longest cargo, fastest delivery time for oversized freight, heaviest takeoff weight ever recorded. The AN-225 was no longer just an airplane. It was a global phenomenon. The final mission. February 2022. The AN-225 was stationed at Hostomol Airport in Ukraine. Its next flight was already planned, but war arrived. Russian forces attacked the airfield in the early hours. Explosions echoed across the runway. Hangars caught fire. When the smoke cleared, the world looked at the twisted metal inside the hangar and realized the truth. The AN-225 had been destroyed. The giant had fallen. For many, it felt like the end of an era, a loss not only for Ukraine, but for global aviation. Engineers inspected the wreckage. The damage was enormous. Wings collapsed, engines shattered. The front fuselage torn open. The monster of the sky would never fly again. The legend that lives on. Even in destruction, the AN-225's legacy only grew stronger. Pilots spoke of it with reverence. Engineers studied its design. Aviation enthusiasts across the world mourned its loss. The partially built second AN-225 remains in storage, a reminder that the giant could one day return. Ukraine has expressed interest in rebuilding it. Antonov engineers say it is possible, but the cost would be staggering. Until then, the AN-225 remains a symbol. A symbol of engineering ambition. A symbol of technological triumph. A symbol of of a world where limits meant nothing. The sky has seen many aircraft, but it has never seen anything like this, and maybe never will again. The giant that will never be forgotten. The Antonov AN-225 was more than an airplane. It was emotion, wonder, power, aviation at its absolute peak. A machine built for a space race, reborn for global service, and lost to a moment in history. But its legend continues to fly. In every engineer who studies its wings, in every pilot who dreams of commanding its power, and in every person who once looked up and saw the impossible floating across the sky. If you want more powerful aviation documentaries like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, so we can continue telling the stories of the aircraft that changed the world.